Hello, welcome to Python uh, tutorials. Uh, this is a new uh, video tutorials that I'm starting. Um, that uh, I will be showing you some of the uh, tips and uh, tricks about Python programming. I will also show you some of the uh, tools that might be useful for you. So today is the uh, the first uh, video, and I'm going to show you how to uh, create or visualize Python packages uh, dependency tree. So that you can figure out, for example, uh, which package depends on which one. So uh, you will be very useful, especially if you are Python developer that you want to develop some package, but you always need to consider what kind of uh, packages you want to include in your Python package uh, dependency. So uh, first, let me show you what uh, the output look like. So for example, this is uh, that you can create just using one line of code. So in this example, we create uh, the dependency tree for the X array uh, package, but you can create for any package. So I'm going to show you later how you can do that. So you can export uh, the graph as a PDF or JPEG or SVG. Um, so there are a couple of formats that uh, so Next, uh, let's get started. So first open your uh, terminal. Assume that you already have uh, Windows or Linux or Mac OS. And you already install uh, Conda, so I'm going to just Conda activate uh, my Conda environment. So it's called uh, test. And so in there, I already install a bunch of packages. Uh, and so if you want to look at what's in there, you can just pip list or uh, Conda list. It will show you the list of all the packages and also the package version. So this is, uh, for example, sometimes if you are developing something and you can also uh, Freeze the environment. So basically, uh, you won't be able to use the same uh, package version that you are using in here. So if you want, you can easily do this. For example, just uh, pip uh, list and then the uh, greater sign. So basically, uh, this command line, we are going to export what we see here on screen to a, 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 a file. So we can, for example, uire requirements.txt. And then hit enter. Um, okay, so right now because I this one is not in the downloads folder, so let me see the downloads folder and then run this one again. So as you can see, uh, it pops here. So this is actually the um, hit freeze. So we're gonna show you all the package version in here. Uh, it includes everything already installed uh, in your environment. So next, I'm gonna show you how you can actually visualize the dependencies, uh, dependency of the environment you can do it for all the packages or you can do it for a specific package so next uh, we are going to install a package called uh, pip pep3 so you can just simply google that uh, and then just hit enter so here uh, I think it's the second one uh, you can click the first one or the second one it's going to take you to the uh, github repository and then click uh, the name uh, pip D, uh, dp3 so from there uh, scroll down. It's going to show you how to install the package, and I'm just uh, because we are trying to use this one here. This one requires a an additional dependency graph uh, with. So we need to install these two packages into our environment. So all we need to do is just pip install, and then the first one is pip dp3. The second one is graph with, and then just hit enter. So I already installed the packages earlier, and so you you just need to install that. Once you install, then you can take a look at um what kind of packages you want to see the dependency, or you can see that for the entire uh environment. So first, uh that's uh simply from here. For example, you can uh, choose whatever format you like. For example, I want to export that one as a PDF. So you're going to just simply copy this one. Um, and then paste in here on the um, terminal. So if you, you can directly use the uh, by default, it's going to export, uh, basically visualize all the packages within your environment. So I'm just going to hit enter. Uh, it's going to take a couple seconds and then we'll take a look at this one, double click. It's going to open the PDF. So this is probably uh, too much uh, because there are so many packages that are installed. In this environment you can just zoom in you can take a look right because this is a pdf so we can uh, zoom all the way in you should be able to see 
uh, words in there. For example, you can move around. For example, here, uh, GMAP, right? So GMAP uh, depends on a lot of uh, packages. Uh, it's basically Jupyter uh, Lab and Jupyter Notebook and also iPad widget, uh, for example, here. So it gets quite complicated. The tree looks uh, it's just uh, overwhelming, but it's quite nice. But you also see some of the uh, this can be seen as the, some of the packages that does not depend on anything else, just itself. And um, but you can quickly visualize um, this is what uh, as you want. So next, I'm gonna show you how you can visualize a specific one so that the tree does not visualize all the packages in your on that environment. So what you need to do uh, is to put in another argument. So this one here, iPhone P, or basically is telling the program um, what package you want to visualize. So again, just uh, press uh, the arrow key, up arrow. And then, so from here, we're just simply going to add a, a, a argument. So we'll move around here and then iPhone P. So for example, I want to Visualize X array, right? So you just need to add iPhone P and then space X array space. Again, just hit enter. Take a couple seconds, and then and now you see that this is um, much nicer. So X array does not depend many packages. So it's quite simple, right? So you can see, for example, pandas. You can look at any packages. So for example, let me try another one. I want this time. I want, for example, Geo pandas right here. Geo pandas, right? So we can also try out uh, other format if you want. So for here, if you want, for example, PNG, right? So PNG. So for example, in this case, you can then you can show it on social media. So PNG, enter. Again, right now we have the PNG. Double click, and as you can see, quite nice, right? So also Geo pandas, uh, they're quite numbers, but uh, it's not as complicated as uh, other packages. Again, uh, let's try maybe another one. How about uh, Jupyter Lab, for example, or iPad widget? Maybe Jupyter Lab. Uh, because Jupyter Lab is quite complicated, so you expect a lot more. Like PNG, take a look. Right? So, Jupyter Lab. Uh, I'm not sure how many. I guess maybe uh, 50, 60 packages. So, it's a large number. So. And GMAP depends on Jupyter Lab, so every package that is showing up in here, it will also show up uh, in the uh, group tree of the uh, GMAP. So one last one I'm going to show you here, for example, the output as PDF. Here I'm going to show you the GMAP. Enter PDF. All right, so it's even more complicated. As you act, uh, you expect. So everything that the Jupyter Lab that's uh, packages uh, dependencies, they will all be included um, in uh, GMAP. So GMAP itself only depends on maybe directly uh, about thirty packages, but they are a lot more. So this is how you can see um, the dependencies, and this could be useful if you need to decide what kind of packages you want to include. For example, uh, if that packages depends on so many. Then when uh, users install your package, it's going to install everything. So you need to make the decision what to include and what not to include. So hopefully, uh, this will be useful, especially when you are thinking about developing our Python packages and uh, how you want to reduce the size of a package so the user can uh, install it very easily and very fast. And so there are a couple more options. If you want to try it out, you can also look at the uh, the help documentation so there are a lot more options you can try out but i think this is uh, the simplest one that you can visualize a dependence uh, dependency tree just using one common line that's it okay so that's all for uh, this video and uh go to see you in the next one take care bye bye